All right, dudes, we're doing another build video. Uh, we are going to be going over my current Iron Vanguard DPS build. I did a couple of things differently from the last video, so we're going to go over the differences a little bit, and I'm going to show you what I'm currently using. So I guess I'll just start with the gear. I'm using the Huntsman Ward Helm. Uh, this is because of the armor pen. It's like just because of the armor pen pretty much I mean the stats are comparable to other gear uh, but the armor pen is really important uh, I did some grinding um, in that skirmish to get the deep knight I was looking for this actually for a while as you could see I have almost 200 K HP so this is really good um, I'm using the huntsman raid arms again this is for the armor pen this is what I see a lot of people doing differently than me. Uh, I chose Pioneer. I I have my opinions on the Pioneer. I'm not going to go into it, but this is what I'm using. And I don't know if you, if any of you uh, guys that are watching this video have ever seen any of my matches, but um, you know I, I I'm I'm pretty good. So I think the Pioneer works really well for PvP. I'm still using the Strategist boots, and the reason why. Uh, is the equip bonus. Um, I, I understand I have a rank 7 in here. So you don't need all rank 13s. Like This is pretty much a, a BIS um, build for PvP. You don't need to have full 13s. I mean, I know I don't have 14s, so that's just too expensive for me. Um, so I'm just rocking 13s. But you can... You can have lower enchantments. You can have, you know, purple gear instead of orange gear. You can have orange artifacts instead of mythic. Um, so I, I am using the protector uh, neck along with the uh, girdle of strength uh, belt. And this is because uh, the neck gives me 8 armor class. So as you can see, my armor class is 40. Yours is probably 32 unless you're using the same... Uh, uh, bonus of a neck. However, um, like the Valhalla that I believe also gives you. Let me double check. Yes, it also gives you eight armor class. So if you're using the Valhalla set, you'll still have forty armor class. Uh, however, the Greater Girdle of Strength. This gives you four strength. None of the other belts, uh, at least from the sets that I have used, gives you 4 strength. As you can see, I have 29 strength and 22 charisma. Um, you don't overlook these. A lot of people just go for stats and gear and feats and boons and stuff. Don't overlook your, uh, your ability scores. It's um, also very important. And a lot of people just forget about it for some reason. Um, so, these rings are really good. The Huntsman Ward, you can use two Huntsman Wards and rock uh, Silveries in defense or, you know, whatever you want to use. The Huntsman Ward rings are good and the Huntsman Restoration rings are good. Power recovery and defense, I mean, uh, deflect and HP. Both, you could use, you know, uh, two of of um, the same ring or one of each, depending on, I don't know, however you want to build, but... This is currently what I'm using. It's Sometimes I use the Restoration Ring or both, both of them. Sometimes I use the Huntsman Ward. You can change stuff up. It's not concrete the way that it is. Uh, I still like the Chult um, shirt for the recovery. I Just simply for the recovery. I know it doesn't seem like much, but uh, I, I don't know. I just like the shirt. I like the stats that it gives um, as far as the recovery goes. The other shirt... Uh, shirts that I've seen aren't you know as good. I mean, I, I know that there's the uh, the Chult shirt, which is good. You have can, you know by all means you can use the Chult shirt if you have it. Um, the other one that looks like I don't know black and gold or whatever the color is. Uh, I'm still using the Sandy's pants. I see a lot of people changed from the Sandy's pants. I still use the Sandy's pants always in PvP. Always, always, always. Uh, so let's look at my current stats. Right now, I'm using uh, 42k power and 14.4k uh, armor pen. You can uh, you can change some stuff up. Like if I use the other ring, whatever. If I you know change a couple of things, I can you know have uh, 
10 or 11K deflect. My defense is not very high. You don't need very high defense. Uh, let's see. We'll go through feats next. So I see a lot of people using feats that are kind of uh, nowhere near it. As, or, I mean, nowhere near uh, this setup as far as the heroics go. You um, just just copy these. Copy these and try it just to see how it feels. Um, I've been using this for, religiously, I've been using these feats for a while now. I, I very much think that they're uh, one of the best combination of feats available. So I usually use Power Boon, however, sometimes I use the Armor Pen Boon. As you can see, um, you know, it's kind of kind of a big difference <laughs> going from, uh, you know, 17 or 14 or whatever it was, Armor Pen, to 22. That's a big deal. Um, okay, so let's go through all the boons. I'll just run through quickly to save some time here. This is what I use for these, not a, you know, huge deal there. Power, Deflect, HP, Tranquility, and then the Stamina one. Stamina is really important, guys. You want to build a lot of Stamina. If you watch my videos, you'll see that my Stamina is, you know, not only does my Stamina go down very slow, but I have a lot of Stamina Regen. Um, I'll go over briefly why that is. Let me just go through these. You can pause the video. And just copy what you see. So let's go through mounts. I'm currently using 4K armor pen. Now this is what I've been doing differently, guys. Uh, I have been using the Providence um, and 4K recovery. I've been going in between these. The recovery is really nice because keep in mind, you know, the higher recovery you have, the more AP you uh, gain you have pretty much because the quicker your dailies come up. Uh, also, the Lion Heal I have been using, which is extremely, extremely good, uh, if, especially if you use Negation. However, I was using Providence and running uh, Elven Battle, which I found to be really nice because the Elven gave me a lot of um, more stamina regen and uh, more immunity to CC, while the... Providence was kind of making up for my, you know, less tankiness. It was healing me. So as long as I shield my where my damage is coming from, like whoever's hitting me, as long as I'm shielding, uh, you know, I'm pretty much just as tanky. There's a lot of healing in this build. This build incorporates a lot of healing. Um, so these are my uh, mount uh, bonuses, insignia bonuses that I use. It's, you know, I guess you, you can kind of use whatever you want. Like, if you don't have a, uh, a, a legendary mount to use in combat, you know, obviously you're not going to be using Cavalry's Warning. You can use other things here. Also, you'll save a lot on AD if you just buy blue versions of these, especially the Aggressions. The Aggressions go for a lot. You can just buy a blue version because it's only 100 stat difference. Or I guess 150 because you get 50 action point gain instead of 100. It's not the end of the world if you fill this with blues. And also plenty of mounts use uh, or have these insignia bonuses. It's not just legendaries. Um, you know, you can get cheap mounts off the auction house and, and be able to uh, proc these insignia bonuses. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Uh, also, always make sure that you have a good fashion set because you never... Uh, you never want to go in with the limp one, you know. You want to go in there and you want to show everybody what, how good you are, and 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 puff up that ego. So you gotta have a good fashion set. My recommendation is gonna be wings and uh, horse head. You can, you know, you can switch it up, go different colors. You can go white, you know. You got plenty of choices. You can go with the bumblebee. I used to rock this one back in the day. Hold on. Nope. There it is. I used to rock this one back in the day. So, uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Um, I'll run through my stats real quick down here so you can see them. Again, you can pause the video if need be. Uh, but besides that, um, you know, just make sure that your managed artifacts are this and this. 
That's very important. But other than that, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys enjoy, and I uh, hope this build helps you at least somewhat. If you trust me, just just trust me. If you use this build, you'll uh, you'll see a big improvement, or at least start trying to use this build. But all right, enjoy. <laughs>